Hey everybody, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. First off, uh, we broke 500 subscribers today. Two, we're gonna take a look at a operating system that I've never ever reviewed at. I haven't seen it reviewed anywhere. Um, it is an Ubuntu based security operating system known as Kodashi 8.0. So I have installed this and it is on my virtual machine. I gave it uh, four gigs of RAM, six cores, uh, 20 gigs of hard drive space, which is way more than what it, re what it needed. This is based off of Ubuntu and it is a pretty uh, in-depth, this is definitely a very seasoned user uh, type desktop, one, and two, your like network administration kind of guys. Uh, it can be used for pen testing, I believe. You can download and install all those softwares, but most of the ones that are on here are all security based ones, uh, which I thought was kind of interesting, and that's why I wanted to do it. Now, full disclosure, I am not in any way, shape, or form a networking kind of guy. So, three quarters of this software, I have no idea the actual functionality of it. Uh, I just know that it's there. I kind of know what it's for. And um, I've heard of, you know, things in the past. So I'm simply going to show you what these softwares are that are installed. And in that, you guys can pretty much so make up your own conclusion. I understand that this is in a virtual machine. And some of you guys may not believe the functionality of it. But that's neither here nor there to me. Um, I'm I'm simply just trying to present this operating system in the best it can be, in the best light. And for me, that right at this moment, that is going to be this with this method uh, operating system. I'm moving my head over here because in the right bottom corner, there's uh, a little dock here that tells you uh, about your VPN um, that's in use, uh, your CPU, you know, it's your monitors, your your different monitors. But I didn't want it to be blocked. But either way, I, the theming is pretty awesome. Uh, it's a very heavily themed Ubuntu based uh, distribution. On the left hand side, you have your bar with your time at the top, your system tray underneath it. And then after that, you have all your favorites as well as your application launcher, which it's a heavily themed GNOME, I'm sure, variant uh, from the look of it. Of course, if you go here, you got your favorites, then you've got your recents, ones that are used like firewall connection. I checked that and that kind of stuff. You know, I adjust my display. Then underneath that, you have all, which is all of your applications, right? And, you know, I could go through all this stuff, but I'm going to go through it pretty much so in this bar, in this dock that's in the bottom. For your settings, of course, you got security category, which if you look, I mean, you have tons upon tons of stuff like bleach it. You can do it as root. Uh, Koi IM, you know, you got the fire fire jail configuration and fire tools. You got the firewall configuration. You got key pass XE. You got the Kodashi browser, um, which I'll show you. There's quite there's quite a different, I think like four different browsers installed. And so with that, I mean, if you go to internet here, you'll see you'll have Firefox. You'll have um, Tor browser. And then you got over here on this panel, you have even more that are not listed in here. But, but, but in any instance, you know that's these are all the different things that are in here. Uh, for security, uh, you got your stays, you got your stacer, your start syncing, VertiCrypt, Zulu Crypt, USB Guard. I mean, you've got all kinds of awesome, awesome security type softwares just baked right in and of course under accessories you've got your standard you know archive manager your catfish file search you got your plain text matter you know text editor your mouse pad your notes you got Redshift. you got your screenshot tools shutter you got your regular terminal arcs x archiver and x archiver and xf burn um for development it's got genie and meld i'm not sure what meld is but genie is a actual uh a text editor under ed uh, under education you've got calculate 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 uh which is the q tile version of calculator 
um, graphics. You've got LibreOffice Draw, Reto, Rosetto, Image Viewer, and ViewNoir. And then under Internet, of course, you've got DNS query, query Tool, FileZilla, Transmission. Uh, FileZilla, I believe, is either Torrent and or FTP or only FTP. I believe it's FTP only, to be honest with you. Uh, transmission, then you got XPA Browser, XPRA Browser, XPRA Launcher, Koi IM, Koi IM Debug. So those are uh, instant messaging apps. Uh, probably more of the secure side, probably peer to peer encrypted. I don't know. Uh, Firefox Web Browser, Sync Web UI, Rimina, Element, Onion Share. Now, Onion Share. And Tor browser, I think, are always are always connected in the sense of that that I do know that the Tor browser uses dot onion websites. I do believe that's how you find your websites is through Onion Share that you could go through Tor browser with. Uh, I believe I haven't used Tor browser a lot, but I do know that it does use a dot onion file. So, uh, and then you have Open Snitch. For multimedia, you've got Audacity, you've got the Pavu, you've got XF Burn, Germelin KBD, Germelin Mixer, Germelin Player, Germelin Plugin Configurator, Germelin Recorder, Germelin Transcorder, Germelin Visualizer, Vocal Screen, MPV Player, and Simple Screen Recorder. Uh, for Office, of course, it's got the Libre Office Suite installed with Dictionary. And under System, you got a whole host of tools from Bleach It, Cairo Doc, that's the doc that's down below. DNS Query Tool, you know, the Fire Tools, all the other stuff. Gparted for the Partitioner, uh, GW Package Installer, Network Tools, uh, Sensor Viewers, you know, you got all kinds of stuff. Tilix uh, for a Terminal, the Synaptic Package Manager, uh, Zulu, Zulu Crypt and Zulu Mount. So you can encrypt hard drives and stuff. So uh, that's what's in the regular application launcher. Now, this one's showing me as being a VPN in the United States, uh, which is what this uh, Conky over here shows, which is pretty awesome. It doesn't do anything to like open up anything, but it would be under your disk monitor, I'm sure. This is where your power session is to log in and out and lock your screen. So there's that. Now, on the Cairo dock, of course, this is the Kodi dash dashboard, which is opens all this information stuff. Which, see, these are, this is system information, IP information, network information. Yeah, this, see, it's, you can see where it's switching, it's switching me randomly through my, the VPN. It'll change. That's kind of wild. So you just changed it to ipinfo.io. Yeah, that's wild. It, it It's changing some stuff. But either way, um, also here you can um, enable, disable, you know, do whatever you want to do for all these different IPNs, IP, VPNs that are already installed. You can do whatever it is that you want to do. Like I just did that. Now I'm connecting to a Tor VPN. So now I'm connected to a different Tor. Switch to this one. <laughs> I mean, it's it'll cycle through all these. That's kind of crazy. And when you're, it's on it here, the settings that you can set, you know, you can set it to do all these things. So uh, that's pretty cool. That's how you can adjust your turn on and off your VPN as well and unblock yourself and all that good stuff. So that's the dashboard. Under web browsers, as you can see here, you've got Kodashi Lite, Kodashi Loaded Browser for, with Tor, um, Kodashi G Hacks Browser Tor, and you've got the Kodashi with proxy chains tour so the kodashi light is your regular standard browser and this is the one where like say you want to search with like go to google and search mexico so either way there you go i mean this is a look at the the internet for the regular internet right then if you go here to like say kodashi loaded browser tour i don't open it up and see how it works Search. Go to Metagear. What's it doing? There we go. 
I got to switch to English here for the United States. And as you can see, it sent me through. It's really slow in loading because it's going through different nodes and different places and different through VPN. So it's using a, a private search. So I'm 100% encrypted and hidden on the internet right now. Well, to a degree. So you look at here. These are different, um, I guess, pro places that I could switch to or that it's testing. I'm not sure. Can look at all these extensions that it's got up here. Bitwarden, wow. Windows 8 Internet Explorer, wow. Anyhow, yeah, so, yeah, that that's a little, a little just hunting around and checking out on it. I mean, I don't know how to use the Tor browsers, but for those of you that do, you have one, two, three of them loaded. The regular Tor browser, then you have the Sphere Tor browser, and you got the Firefox Unsafe. Firefox on safe, I'm assuming, is probably the regular standard Firefox full-blown version. Yeah, this is your standard Firefox. I'm going to look at the help about Firefox version 105. So security apps, uh, you see you've got Session Manager, Element, uh, Daemon Saw, Tax, Pigeon Inter Internet, Koi, Onion Share, Tor Circuitries, Veracrypt, Zulu Crypt, Zulu Mount, um, Streak All, Mott, Matt, Exif Cleaner, uh, Seghide GUI. A lot of these I don't know. KeyPass, I know what it is. Password and Keys, that's another password keeper like Bitwarden. GPA, File Tools, Open Snitch, which I think is just finds open cloud services or open ports or whatever. Uh, Guff View, Stacer is a, a hard drive monitoring and cleaning tool like Bleach It and CC Cleaner. Um, this is like the CC Cleaner for Linux. Bleach It's the same thing, and Bleach It is root. So that's under um, security apps. And then under your security services, you've got all these security services, which is time. Other applications, they've got all these other ones. You have your full office suite in here. you got your simple screen recorder. Uh, Yakka Screen, Audacity, XF Burn, Venor, Risotto, uh, MPV Player. You know, this is basically all the different groups of di other, you know, miscellaneous apps, so to speak, um, that wouldn't be used for any type of security purposes or internet security. Uh, just com compiled into this, you know, group folder or group. Uh, under extra tools, you have uh, storage tools. You got Enable uh, OS um, System Nuke. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, that is kind of weird, and this is why I, I, I want to say it's semi-controversial, is because I don't know what you would be doing with this um, that you would be required to enable a catastrophic system nuke, you know, and you could also disable the OS system nuke, and then you have your encrypted safe box, your decrypted safe box, your panic repair and restore, so if you screwed something or something's coming down somewhere, somehow you hit this and you, you're in a panic to repair it and restore it, there you go. Of course, donate and license. So it tells you what licensors, which is based under the Open GPL, I believe, or whatever. That is a look at Kodashi, Kodaki, Kodashi 8.0. Now leave a comment down below in the comments what you think about this OS, what your thoughts are about this type of OS. If there, if you've used it, which if you have, I'd be very interested to hear your thoughts and opinions on it because you definitely obviously know a lot more than i do on the networking side of things pretty cool looking os i like that it's based off of debian uh, i also like the security software that's installed on it uh, i didn't see a lot of your pen testing you know like your wireshark and all that kind of stuff I didn't, I didn't see a lot of that on there i just saw all security based and that's why i chose to do this distribution you guys keep doing what you do have a great day and keep on linuxing